Here's the problem that we're going to solve today. You've got a Crossfire radio and a Crossfire receiver, and you're going to bind them. Now pay attention to this LED on the receiver. Get ready. RX is loading. Don't interrupt. It goes to the fast flashing, which means it's loading. So far, so good. And then you end up in this weird state. The radio says it's not bound. See the orange LED? The receiver seems to think it's bound because when you turn the radio on, the LED on the receiver goes from red to green, but it's not a solid green LED. It's like a double green flash, green, 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 green. And then I ran into this this weekend trying to help somebody with their quad and I literally spent a half hour trying everything I could think of to get their receiver to bind and I couldn't fix it. And if you've run into this, I'm gonna tell you the fix. I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're gonna learn something today. So the issue is this. The issue is that when you flash your radio with TBS Agent X, apparently there is a bug in TBS Agent X, something about the way that it flashes the firmware and it causes your stuff to get screwed up and so you run into this problem. TBS has acknowledged this issue and has said that the fix is to use TBS Agent M, which is a mobile browser-based version of TBS Agent X. So we're going to go ahead and give that a try. We're going to choose USB agent HID. Ah, there we go. You have to hit connect devices via USB and then you have to give permission. Bingo. Okay, perfect. That worked. And now we are going to pick Tango 2 Crossfire. And we are going to go to firmware. And we're going to flash firmware 607. And by the way, the reason this all comes up is because you need firmware 607 to work with the new TBS 69. Uh, and that's why everybody's running. Apparently, this, this issue is related to both 4.11 and 607. But flashing from TBS Agent M supposedly fixes it. And this fix is also... I think they said they were going to roll it out into TBS Agent X, but they just haven't gotten around to it. So if you're running into this issue, uh, TBS Agent M is the workaround. Well, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do it. That's the answer, short and as short and sweet as I get. Uh, if you're running into this issue and you're having trouble binding Crossfire, you're getting the double green flash or some other problem like that, uh, try updating your Crossfire radio using TBS Agent M to firmware version 6.0.7, and uh, hopefully that will get you sorted out. Thanks so much for watching. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or, like, just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.